What's up everyone, Xandrid here. Welcome to my show. Now I tried this a couple of times, but always kind of felt like it wasn't really... I wasn't really uh, nailing the nail on the head. But if, as a matter of fact, when am I ever? So my first segment for today will be somewhat of a superpower. It depends on how you look at it. There is a smart young fellow by the name of... Jabunyeon. Sorry, I'm, I know I butchered that, I'm very sorry. He is the one that invented Triton, and that is like a snorkel thing type shape thingy that actually allows you to breathe on the water. Now, science said that that's impossible because it's this big, and this, so, yeah, wide. It, it's something like this, a contraption, right? I, I, I looked into it, but just by reading the facts, and just reading the... the, the 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 uh, contrast of this product just made my head spin because apparently either you need to swim like a bullet or <laughs> there's too many health risks involved or you need a, a massive uh, amount of energy just to power it just so you can electrolyze the water so the water molecules divide into hydrogen and oxygen and Apparently even that could cause health problems, I have to read it again. Before I forget, all the links from the news are in the description so you can check it out for yourself. Now the apparatus is 29 centimeters long, sorry about that, it's a bit, a bit like this, more or less. And it allows you to go for about 45 minutes snorkeling without having to come back up to get air. Oh, and did I mention that the campaign, like the fundraiser for this project, got up to $820,000? to make it and side note the <laughs> I just can't I just can't have a straight face saying this a youtuber by the name Rulof Maker made his actual <laughs> made his own underwater <laughs> breathing apparatus homemade DIY not uh, not not DIY uh, DIY leave a link to his YouTube channel here somewhere I still have to figure out the the positioning. FBI versus Apple. So as you all might know, there was a shooting in San Bernardino leaving 14 deaths and the terrorists had a iPhone which apparently had a security system that if you entered the pin uh, three times or more times incorrectly everything would get burned, like everything would get erased. So FBI, the nice and polite fellows that they are asked gently Apple to make a backdoor program to the iPhone so they could get all the juicy intel out of it without losing anything. Now, uh, the thing is about this, you can ask as nicely as you want, but in my opinion that's a bit stupid because you're gonna make a backdoor to jump all type of security and get access to all the sensitive data on that phone. It's not gonna involve just that phone. That's, I mean, everyone said that on the internet. Everyone noticed that, but apparently the FBI are just that preoccupied with other stuff uh, that they didn't notice. So Apple, as the reasoning fellows they are, <laughs> said no, which I can truly understand. But now it, it seems that FBI dropped all the, all the uh, case courses or whatever you call them uh, against Apple. And now they said, well, thank you very much, we're going to be on our way. Because apparently, a third party managed to do something like that. I, I'm guessing they made a program that could actually do what they asked Apple to do. And now the debate has started between the wing that says, yeah, the FBI are going to be good fellows. And not use it for everybody else to spy on like it never really happened so far. Sorry was the NSA, sorry was every major company in America, <laughs> or they will use it for everything else, spying and everything. But that's going to be my first question for you all viewers, what do you think will happen? Because apparently now everyone's saying that the real battle has just started. What will the FBI do? Will they work with Apple to make a bare security system so that no one can actually use the program to invade privacy? Or will they just be their selves like so far? Our next story of the day involves something that actually sent chills down my spine. 
because apparently, leave it to the Americans, they found a new type of bullet. G2 Research found a bullet that is calling the RIP cartridge. Like, rest in peace? Yeah, like that RIP. I had to double check that. Radically invasive projectiles. A bullet has projectiles. This thing has been out since 2014. I do not want to know what exactly they're doing with it. Because have in mind, it's a bullet that by Im at impact it just spreads like this. It has spreading effects. I, after hearing so many shootouts from America, like toddler shot's mother or instructor got shot by, by, by a little girl. I, I can't remember how old she was. You have this shit now? What the hell, Georgia? What the hell? On another note, a funny thing about today's news. Bernie Sanders discovered Romania. Not sure how that works, but uh, yeah, apparently he has decent internet. Like, first of all, this boggles my mind because Americans have no idea even where Romania is on the map. I think you guys think that Europe is just a country, like like United States of America, United States of Europe. Now the funny thing is, Romania does have very good internet. I have to give credits where credits at, right? Today, people living in Bucharest, Romania, have access to much faster internet than most of the U.S. That's unacceptable and must change. I do agree with him. Romania has better internet than than America. Like. That's life. Apparently there were two sides on Twitter because of this. Like one part were the people that took it fairly nicely and the other people that just got buttered. Like for some people think that Romania is a third world country and they shouldn't have. Like some uh, responses were, well, America has to have everything there. Or the other side of the story, like for example, Paul Marco. Many will have faster internet because we killed our commie dictator on Christmas morning in 1989. Then we opened up the markets. But my favorite Bernie Sanders tweet was this one. Theodor Tita says, the nice people of Bucharest are happy to welcome you here if you want to check your email that is. By the way, America, I am not happy about this. A recent study was made. What happens when Americans are asked to place European countries on the map? Like you What's wrong with you? What's wrong with your schools? Like, are you learning anything there or are you learning just how to shoot weapons? Or not, not even that. You're learning just that weapons exist and that's it. Example number one. So they got France, Spain, Italy and Russia right on the map. Oh my god, and UK. That's amazing. They got it right on the map. And that was it. Literally no idea. Sorry. Second example, Spain, France, Germany, Austria, and Poland apparently is taking over the world. My favorite of all, apparently some people got something right. So Africa, Spain, France, and fucking Transylvania, plus the place Borat is from. Like why is Romania just known for Transylvania and Borat? I mean, I don't really mind Transylvania being being known for Dracula, to be honest. But Borat. Seriously, Borat. And my last piece of news for today. I thought of leaving it somewhat funny, but interesting at the same time, and a bit mind-boggling. And Ezel is compelled of nine most richest female porn stars of 2015. Now, Dude Comedy did the amazing job of looking up the woman for... Research reasons, of course. And we have number 5, Sasha Gray, net worth 3 million. Number 4, Jenna Hayes, 3.5 million. Number 3, Brie Olsen, net worth 5 million. Number 2, Jesse Jane, worth 8 million. And number 1, Jenna Jameson, worth 30 million dollars. Net worth. Now the only one that actually rings a bell for me is Lisa Ann, to be honest. And she's just worth 2 million. She's on 7th place. Still, that is a lot of money. Now this section of the video is going to be for shoutouts. And first of all, I would like to give a shoutout to YouTube Talk Forum. It's run by Michael, a very amazing person, talented and very funny. A bit shy, to be honest. But hey, aren't we all? And the second shoutout 
would be to a amazing person, Victor Vic Boss Chan and his crew. They are very talented and always help me when I had a question about YouTube or random stuff just hanging out. So be sure to check them out, leave a like, and please leave in the description a comment. I maybe feature you in the next video, or just leave me suggestions of what you want me to talk about next. Oh, and please don't forget to share with everyone, that would really help the channel out. Thank you all for watching, and tune in next time.